hey y'all welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i prep my wigs from start to finish i feel like back in the day like on old school youtube we used to do this way more often with like prepping the wigs beginning to end but now i just feel like everybody just install their wig on their head and that's just it so i wanted to kind of take it back for a second and show you guys the prep work so for starters i'm going to take my bw2 bleaching powder and my 30 volume developer to bleach the knots on this wig i'm so excited to try this wig because it has the kinky edges and I love that like I don't know about y'all but I love a good kinky straight yakky straight type of hair because I feel like it's way less maintenance and it matched my hair texture perfectly and it just it just gives for me like I think I'm like a kinky straight girl it just gives so I'm just going to make that um, batter about the my brother or somebody is walking past the camera so I'm gonna just make that batter and I'm gonna make it to where it's like a little bit more than thicker than pancake consistently kind of like a dough because you really don't want this to seep into the wig because if it seeps through the lace you're done your edges and everything is going to be done it's going to be over bleached and we don't want that we don't want that right we don't want it to run or do anything like that so that's the reason for the thick consistency of the powder and the bleach mixed together so yeah I ended up having to do this process twice and I will tell you why I don't know what it is but the edges on this wig did not budge the knots did not budge at all like I was like what the heck I thought I was going crazy but the edges did not they did not bleach they did not take they did not lighten they did not do anything but everything else was like perfect so I'm like hmm but all in all we worked it out and it turned out great this is pretty much what it looked like once I rinsed everything out um it was just oh I guess I'm ahead of myself huh oops <laughs> excuse me my bad my bad friend my bad friend so I'm gonna rinse it out and then this is what it looks like once I rinsed it out and this is after washing it twice so as you can see the knots are pretty much invisible throughout the whole lace except for the hairline which is where the kinky hair was so I was a little confused by that but nonetheless we're gonna go ahead and install this wig okay y'all this product right here girl my first time trying it the best thing ever like for a quick and easy install and my wig lasted for a couple days so I'm just saying this is the best like if you don't like hairspray personally I'm not a hairspray kind of girl when it comes to my wigs because I just feel like I don't like having to put the hairspray down then put the wig on then like move the wig around put the put the lace uh put the strap on and then adjust the wig and hope that it's in the right spot I just can't get with it I need something that's gonna stick it in place as soon as I touch it down to my skin and that's what this did I have been in Japan for a couple of years so you know I really didn't have access to all the products but this stuff right here bomb okay it works so good for laying down this wig it was the best thing ever I'm like I'm obsessed so I just want to put some around my hairline just so that um you know you can pull everything back I don't want my edges like kind of pulling or just laying out and then because I have a really low hairline I kind of left my hairline out just that little protruding part because I kind of wanted to see what it was going to give and I'm never going back like if you have a low hairline oh my god this is game changer I don't know why I haven't been doing this forever. Like I'm always struggling to do my laces, to do my wigs or anything because I'm like, oh my God, I have a low hairline. Like how do I put the bald cap on? It's always pulling my edges. Girl, child, I did this method and I said, oh baby, whoever, <laughs> why y'all didn't tell me? Y'all fake. I wish y'all oh, should have told me because y'all fake. So now that I have the wig and I know that I where I want it, I just want to cut the ears off Um, because you know, you have to customize your wig and make it to your liking. So yeah, I'm just cutting off the ear tabs and installing the wig of uh, using that um, ORS gel. Girl, I'm obsessed, I love it. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch me apply the wig. It's super simple. And then I will come back when we get to, you know, getting into the nitty gritty, the good stuff, okay?
y'all. So look at this. Look, you see the melt? I haven't even done nothing. Look at this. It looks so good and I didn't even do anything. All I did was put the gel down, put the wig on and then tied it down. Obviously I added a little bit of hairspray for an extra hold, but I really didn't even need to. Girl, it laid down so perfectly, but my scissors was giving me a run for my money. Ooh, I should probably get some more scissors, huh? As a hairstylist, this is not a good look. <laughs> so make sure you have some sharp scissors because it will make this process so much easier. It took me forever. I ended up having to just get a little, um, get something else. But yeah, this ended up working for the meantime. So I'm just going in and cutting off that lace. And as you can see, my natural hair is left out right here. And it just worked out so perfectly. Like, what? Hello? Like, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Like, I can't believe I've never tried this process with, like, leaving my edges out like i'm obsessed i love it so yeah i'm just gonna cut the ear tabs off and then i'm gonna add a little bit more product to lay it back down again and then we're going to you know get the process started So this wig was for sure giving me middle part, middle part vibes, okay? So I wanted a middle part. So I'm just gonna take my wax stick right down the middle just to kind of define my part. Yeah, y'all, I do not have a plug-in hot comb. I don't know why I'm so scared of those. I need to get one. My last one like burnt up, like exploded. I was like, oh no, no, no. The hairstylist in me is going to continue to use the old school. I even have a, um, what's that called, a, a oven. I just plug it in, girl, put it on the oven and call it a day. I just feel like it don't like the plug-in ones do not get as hot as like this one so yeah i'm just going in and just kind of defining my part a little bit and then just kind of pressing down um my little edges that i left out that way it kind of blends in with it and that's pretty much it i'm gonna do that i'm gonna straighten it and then yeah that's it so this is what i'm gonna use to straighten my hair so i'm gonna let you guys watch it everything will be linked down below for this hair i highly recommend it if you're like the type of girl that just want to throw something on and go honey Girl, this is the wig for you. Even though right here, you could see how smooth and slick it was, I really didn't even need to straighten it. So if you don't wanna straighten your hair and you just wanna just throw the wig on and go, you can do that too. And it will still give like natural blowout vibes. Like just, you know, like I just blow dried my hair. I didn't have time to straighten it, but it still look cute. That's what this wig gives, even when you don't have it straight. But when it's straight, oh baby, it gives natural um, silk press, 4c hair silk press heat trained <laughs> that's what it gives so yeah i'm gonna let you guys finish watching it and everything will be linked down below like i said i'll also have all the links to the products that i use so make sure you guys check that out and subscribe to my channel down below if you are new this hair turned out so good like i'm literally obsessed i don't even i have clip-ins in right now and i'm about to take these clip-ins out and put this wig back on because looking back at this footage baby she eats like look at the hairline like hello huh low mind you i didn't do no pluck in i didn't do anything this is straight out the box all i did was bleach the knots and that was it but the pluck in and stuff i didn't do anything to it so shout out to jesse's wigs for sponsoring this video and sending me this hair honey because oh it's definitely going in my collection for sure